Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. <clears throat> I'm going to review a seasoning. Just thought I'd try this. <clears throat> so this is from Porking Good. Um, this flavor is called bourbon, bourbon seasoning. <clears throat> so the many things you can use this, this um, seasoning on and in is, uh, well, first it says the subtle, sweet, and savory blend of our of our bourbon seasoning makes for a truly special flavor profile that's sure to impress. Sprinkle some bourbon seasoning on glazed salmon, bourbon chili, melted onions, chicken or pork chops, corn and cauliflower, sweet potatoes, and caramelized bacon. <coughs> What's going on with my voice? <clears throat> okay, so I got some... Uh, Wolf brand chili today. I don't know if it's going to work in this. If this isn't already bourbon chili, this says bourbon chili. So this is just basic chili, but <clears throat> I thought I'd see how this seasoning goes goes in it or on it. it may not work. I don't know, but I want to find out. <clears throat> Have a couple other ideas for this. I'm gonna to want to try it on a burger. Um, so, but this is just a little insignificant little lunch type thing. I want to try it on just to kind of get familiar with this a little bit. Oh wow! 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 That smells really good. <clears throat> I could sit here and huff this thing all day. <laughs> it's got a um, it's got a sweet. Almost a little peppery kind of a aroma. You almost get that bourbon kind of a kind of an aroma in there. See, it's about to make me sneeze. So there might be some kind of pepper in there. I haven't looked at this yet, but it smells like there might be some garlic in there. Let's see what it says on it on here. Turbinado sugar. Turbinado sugar. That sounds familiar to me. Salt, onion, <clears throat> garlic powder, spices, and brown sugar. So in the spices area, that could be many things. That could could be black pepper in there. Um, there's brown sugar. I, I said I got a sweetness. Um, <clears throat> um, onion. Yeah. Okay. Check it out. I'm just gonna sprinkle some. Let's let me just. This one try a little bit, just like this. Onion, garlic, hit real quick. You get that sweetness from the brown sugar. <clears throat> now, there might be a little black pepper in there. Get it on the aftertaste just a little bit, I think. I could be wrong. A little saltiness. Tastes really good. Put some on here. Let's start off with this much. Mix that in there. Just kind of, you know, just kind of trying to jazz up my chili just a little bit. I got this chili for this reason. <clears throat> 
Um, but I would still like to try it on my wife's chili just to kind of see her, her chili granted doesn't need anything extra really so because it's it's really good for the way it is but just to make it a little bit different and just to kind of see if it worked good <clears throat> might want to try it okay see if I can get a bite it's still kind of hot I think <laughs> it's, it's this one's really kind of spicy too. This is this doesn't have any beans in it. Chili pepper. This not might not be the best one to try it with. But you know. You never know until you try it. Um, I'm getting it in there a little bit, but <clears throat> the Wolf Brand Chili is like real, real big flavored. So, like I said, I mean, it's like <clears throat> really strong on the garlic that they got in there. And um, doesn't say they have garlic in it but it's <clears throat> it's strong like that though flavor oh and yes it does garlic powder right there the chili pepper is huge too a little bit more in there before I stop the review I'm gonna I want to be able to get a good example of this in here and just kind of see if it does go good with it. <clears throat> I like experimenting a little bit, you know, just kind of try different foods and different additives. <clears throat> Getting a little bit of that that brown sugar in it, just kind of sweetening up the chili just a little bit. Um, maybe a little extra saltiness in there is what it's doing for it right now. <clears throat> My throat just all of a sudden <clears throat> started bothering me. I'm just getting over it stupid cough it's not totally gone yet but It's done, it's, it's put extra flavor in this chili. It pairs well, it really pairs well with this. You know, like <clears throat> a lot of, a lot of us, you know, folks, you know, we go to our jobs, we eat our lunches at work and um, <clears throat> you have a locker. Um, you get some pork and good um, seasonings 
you can put them in your locker you eat different stuff all the time um you want to let your your co-workers try different stuff have some of these seasonings in your locker and you can add them to all kinds of stuff i mean like with the stuff i just mentioned on here um you know fish says glazed salmon um melted onions um chicken pork chops um corn cauliflower you probably added to many other different kinds of vegetables sweet potatoes caramelized bacon i want to try this on i already said that i'm gonna try it on a burger so <clears throat> gluten-free no msg no maltodextrin it's really good so go to their website check out their seasonings i they they were nice enough to send me um lauren costin um, was kind enough to send me a bunch of their seasonings and uh, some pork rinds and some other products that we're still getting to check them out you know check them all out man does this chili just never like cool off <clears throat> i think this thing here is like an insulated container so it probably, probably keeps it really hot but Let's just kind of hurry this up just a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just going to get a spoonful ready. Okay. I'm going to put the sprinkles directly on the spoonful. And just kind of see. It has a very unique smell to it. The, the seasoning does. Okay, let's go. Let's try it. I want to get the full spoonful, but I'm scared. Because <laughs> this has been, like, really, really hot. Okay. There we go. Oh, wow. Man, that is really good in there. You get enough in there so that it's an equal amount of each, you know, kind of a flavor, you know, coexisting thing. Um, it's really good with it. I would really like to try this on my wife's chili. Um, so, <clears throat> if you like, you know, chili, homemade chili, have some, you know, get you some made up, make you up some add this i don't think i'd add it to the whole the whole pot just add it to your own individual you know your own bowl your own serving um just add it add it to yours to taste you know um because you could burn through this this container really really quick <clears throat> not even knowing if you're you know if everybody's gonna like it so you don't know you don't want to waste it. So anyway, check them out. You can find their their uh, products at Porking Good website, Amazon.com, Nutrition.com, and Walmart.com. Go to their website, and you can read um, their story um, in full about the company, um, how they came about, what they're going, you know, where they're going with the company. It's very interesting to read about it. Um, check it out for yourselves. Look at all the products they have. Um, you'll, you'll be amazed what they got available. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. This is what we checked out today. It goes good on Wolf Brand Chili. Um, you just got to add enough because it's, like, this stuff's hugely flavored with, uh, you know, garlic and onion and all kinds of stuff. Chili pepper, chili, yeah. So, so there you go. Thank you, Lauren. I appreciate you sending me this. And I got other ideas for it. 
and thank you all for watching. I appreciate that, and we'll see you on the next one.